Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general weekend spread for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 25th, 26th, and 27th, 2019. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. So, whomever this is meant for, I'd use the Rider Waite deck, one of my original decks, woohoo, that I started with doing tarot with, awesome deck. Uh, 10 card spread, 5 above, 5 below. I did pull an outcome card as well as two clarifiers as well. So let's get started. This is pretty easy uh, spread here. Uh, basically, there is going to be success here with the Six of Wands literally facing the Four of Swords. Basically, if you calm your mind, if you think things over, if you rest your mind, resting is basically healing your mind here, okay? To get the total balance, the complete package with the Ten of Pentacles. Tens are known for that completion in regards to getting that total balance back in your life again. In regards to the Six of Cups as well as the Three of Cups right after that. So sometimes they make me add when there are two different, or subtract, when there are two uh, of the exact same element there. The Six of Cups with the Three of Cups right after that is a Nine of Cups, which is known as the Wish Fulfillment. So basically I feel that somebody is trying to uh, to realize after a very stressful situation, okay, with the nine of swords there, nightmare stage, know that there is going to be success once you calm your mind, once you heal your mind, once you get the total package in regards to the balance of your own life in order to get someone from your past to get that wish fulfillment with the two cards together here and be able to raise that cup of love and celebrate, okay? Here it is, okay? Yeah, They've been uh, kind of holding back, I feel, with the Four of Pentacles. But yet again, more balance as well with the Four of Pentacles. That you have to be patient, not just with the situation at hand, but as well as with yourself as well, okay? You have to look at the situation and realize how much you're beating yourself up. I don't know how else to put that properly. I'm sorry. This is a tough, tough energy to deal with, okay? This is a lot of stress for a long time with that sword. It's kind of like, I want to make a choice, I want to make a decision, but you see how the one pentacle of balance is up, the other one is down. When am I going to have my new start with that one pentacle? It's kind of like, dun, 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 you know, kind of energy here of going back and forth. What do I do? Literally turn, not just looking at that pentacle, that choice, that decision about a new beginning in regards to getting your wish fulfillment, but what I'm really feeling here, the first two cards basically say it all. Okay, there's going to be success if you calm your mind, if you heal your mind, if you think about things, okay, instead of getting yourself stressed out. They want me to take the card above this. They want you to come to that completion in regards to balance. They don't want you to be in your head, to be stuck in your head, to feeling kind of off balance feeling with one up, one down, trying to make a decision as to where do I stand, how am I going to get this new beginning, the, uh, I, the words couldn't come out. You got the temperance, a very spiritual card, okay? This tells me is that spirit sees what's going on. They want you to be patient, not saying that you haven't been, okay? But you've been more stressed out than anything over this situation, feeling topsy-turvy in regards to when is this wish fulfillment coming? When is this new beginning coming? Continue to be patient, yes, but... The way to succeed in regards to getting your wish fulfillment is to have your total package of balance here for yourself and be able to rest your mind. That's half the battle, okay, is what this tells me. The Six of Wands is actually known for being through this battle to get this success. Once you are successful with calming the mind, with getting the balance, rightfully so, from a stressful situation, from being more patient than ever, but feeling a little topsy-turvy in regards to unbalancedness for where is this new beginning, you have to have a new beginning for yourself, is what this says. If you accomplish this, if you calm the mind, heal the mind, get the total package in regards to your balance, you're going to be successful in regards to getting this wish fulfillment. There is going to be a decision made in regards to that new beginning here. Here's the outcome. Justice. Libra energy does not have to be. Three of Wands and the Strength card. There will be justice. There will be communication. There will be balance. You just have to wait for it. Keep looking. You see the sun? You see the yellow here? That's the sun. That's the positiveness. 
not this, not this. You want to get out of this phase, okay? You want to make a new beginning, a choice, a decision for a new beginning for yourself. Be successful in regards to calming the mind and getting that total package of balance for you, okay? Because there will be that communication. There will be that balance brought in in regards to what you desire, what you want. But you have to wait for it and you have to be strong, okay, is what this tells me. And of all things, you will be successful once you are able to calm the mind, to get out of that phase of the Nine of Swords energy and make that choice for a new beginning for you. And that's what I have for whomever this is meant for real straight to the point. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Work on you. Go out. Enjoy the nice weather. It's fall here. There's so many different color leaves. It's beautiful. I live up in the Poconos. You know, it's great here. It's beautiful. A little chilly. Go out there. Nature is very, very calming. It's very nurturing. It's very, uh, it releases uh, a lot of negativity. Go out and enjoy it. And I hope you guys have a great one. Rock on and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.